Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I'm going to show you how we can utilize the text-to-speech service of Amazon Web Services. This is not just a simple text-to-speech online tool, but rather, this is an AI or an artificial intelligence powered service offered by AWS. And this service is called Amazon Poly. Amazon Poly provides a dozen of languages and wide selection of natural sounding male and female voices. And the best part of this is that you can use it for free for the first 12 months. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. I'm JJ, founder of Tech Preppy, the home for tech related insights, reviews, and discussions. And if you are looking for a voiceover to your YouTube video or simply want to convert a text into speech for whatever purpose, then you will love this video. So without further ado, let's begin. To get started, you just need to create an AWS account. And don't worry, creating AWS account is all free. Once you are done creating in your account and successfully log in, then you just need to go to search box and type Poly. And then Amazon Poly will show. Let's click it. So this is the Amazon Poly's interface. As you can see, it says here text to speech. And then here you have an option for two engine. First one is the neural and then the second one is standard. So the difference between the two is that neural is the most natural and human-like sounding speech compared to standard and also by pricing wise if let's say you already use your free tier then using standard might be a little bit cheaper compared to using neural and then here you have a selection of languages there's a lot of languages it can be an english cantonese chinese dutch and different uh, accent of english like british indian new zealand south african and definitely the us then you have French and then German and then there's a lot of uh, language that you can choose from. And then the next one is the voice. As I mentioned, there's a lot of voices that you can choose from. The default one is Joanna, which is a female sounding. You have uh, an other selection that you can choose from. Different sound of male depending on the context of your text that you want to be voice over. And then this is now the input text. This is where you type or copy and paste your text that you want to be converted into speech. If your text is around less than 100,000 characters, then you can just press listen to automatically convert this, the text that you type in here. And then if it's like more than 100,000, then you need to use your S3 bucket as a directory of your converted text into speech and then you download download it from there and then here at the bottom is the additional settings so you have an option here that you can select the speech file format settings by default it is mp3 so there's a lot of choices here it can be speech marks pcm ogg so let's disable that we're good with uh, mp3 and then you can also customize your pronunciation let's say there's a word that not common english language or it's an a pronoun then you can upload here the the pronunciation of of that word using lexicon now let's try converting this text the already entered text here so let's just press listen hi my name is joanna i will read any text you type here cool right so it's quick, so it was able to translate this text into speech, and it's very human. So let's select a different voice. Let's select Kimberly. And then let's play it again. Hi, my name is Kimberly. I will read any text you type here. All right, cool. And then let's try a male one, Justin. Hi. My name is Justin. I will read any text you type here. All right. And then now, last one, maybe let's select another mail. Maybe Kevin. And let's click listen. Hello. My name is Kevin. 
I will read any text you type here. Amazing, right? Before I record this video, I already tried and used Amazon Polly in one of my videos that I uploaded in my, my YouTube channel. I will put the link of that video for you to check and see how amazing it is. So I will play the short clip of that video for you to hear. Aside from the speed, stability, scalability, and performance, popularity is another important parameter in choosing a back-end framework as it drives the adaption and maturity of the framework. The more developer uses the framework, the bigger the community become. The bigger the community, the more the framework become mature and stable. So aside from this interface, you can also use the AWS SDK to use Amazon Poly as an API. Let me know if you want me to show you how to do that. So just put that in a comment. And that's it for this video. For any comments or suggestion, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.